Hey everyone, Suda here from Gal Portal, and we are in interviewing the one, the only, the legend, the Tao Devil? Or is it Dao Devil? Uh, you can pronounce uh, Taoism with a D sound, even though it's spelled with a T, but after, you know, and originally that's how I wanted it, but after nobody knew what it was and just kept calling it Tao Devil. I really fell in love with the sound of Tao rather than Dao, so I'd prefer it be with a T. Okay, Tao Devil. So, what got you into Gears? Complete random chance. I had convinced my parents to buy me an Xbox 360 for Christmas back in 2006. I knew they weren't going to buy a game, or if they did, it would be a really crappy one. So I went to GameStop, and while I was there, I saw a couple of shooters on the wall. One was Gears of War, one was Rainbow Six Vegas... I finally narrowed it down to the two, and I asked uh, one of the people at the counter which game was better. And they couldn't really tell me which game was better, but they did tell me that Rainbow Six Vegas was extremely realistic, so if you got shot in the leg, you're pretty much going to bleed out because they're hitting with such a high caliber round. Didn't think that worked out so well. Then they told me that this guy, that this game... Uh, you got a bunch of, you know, beefed up football players in armor with guns with chainsaws on them that carve up monsters from underground. I said, that's it. That's what I want. What do you think of the supposed redacted leak? I mean, what? The, uh, the remake footage. What remake footage? Don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about either. Now that we have deniability out of the way. Um, yeah, but if there was, you know, this leaked image or video or stuff, what do you think we could talk about it? Uh, I think that the sound would, you know, the sounds have been, have obviously going to be enhanced if there's such a game. And if so, I think that the natural reload sound would sound very well done and uh, grenades actually being enhanced so you can actually hear them now, that would be a great improvement, but I couldn't tell you if that happened or not. Yeah, I know. I mean, just what if, like, this incredible gore system that they added, even though, you know, hypothetically, this the blood's, like, a little, like, Kool-Aid red. Like, what what are your thoughts on this new hypothetical gore system and, like, the other things that we've well, seen hypothetically? Well, that's the thing. Is it, is it really new? Because it looks pretty close to what we have with the you know the last couple of games which a lot of people didn't like personally i the blood effect i really don't care if it's the gears one style if it's the gears three style when i'm killing somebody i really am not paying attention to the blood so much as the body parts so if if I'm chainsawing somebody, I'm not waiting to see the spurt of blood going off the saw. I'm waiting to see which part of the body it cuts off. I don't care so much about the, the blood system as I do about the realistic of, like, say, the curb stomp or uh, chainsaw or the, or the gibbs. Uh, you know, that kind of stuff is what I look for. Yeah, same as with, like, these uh, apparent I wish what maps would come back. Maybe let's, let's say canals. Like, what if that was to come back? What did you think of, like, what would the, what would the aesthetic be? Well, you know, I Canals was actually one of my favorite maps in Gears 1. Probably probably my favorite map in Gears 1, actually. And it was at least in the top three for Gears 2. The difference between the two, though, is that I really liked Winter Setting in the Gears 2 version. Uh, obviously, if they're remaking the Gears 1 map, this wouldn't have the Winter Setting. I'm, I'm going to be pretty happy with them. Yeah, no, I, I totally agree with you on that. Um, things that do you think they should add or incorporate from the other Gears games, such as maybe, you know, spotting or better hit detection, or even, like, in Gears 1, you didn't have a down icon, like, when you down an enemy. Do you think that stuff is necessary, or should they keep it, like, the UI as much as possible to Gears 1? The problem with looking at Gears 1 compared to the other newer games is that there's a lot of nostalgia with Gears 1. You look back at it, and you absolutely love it, and there's nothing that can be said about it that, that you really get upset about. 
and then you go back and play it after playing the newer games and you look at how clunky the system was and how restricted the ui was and you just kind of start missing things about the new games ui really if they can or if they did um up upgrade it from the uh newer games i think that'd be a lot better uh New features, so much as spotting, I don't really hear one way or the other on that, since I never really used it to begin with. Uh, although, for some reason, I still keep trying to do it in Destiny. <laughs> um, you know, there's there's a lot of things that I think Gears 1 needs to have fixed, but not so much needs to be added. Such as? Uh, you know, well, like... Uh, Obvious ones that we know the developers at least are looking into because we've heard from uh, Jack and Fallout and several others that uh, the random spread in Gears 1 was something that they despised. They thought it was, you know, a a complete screw up um, to try and balance the game. Um, Active downing, if that's back in place, that's going to be a huge mistake. I don't. Yeah, I, I honestly, I don't know one person that I used to play the game with, you know, ten hours a day that would prefer it to come back beyond, you know, really trying to piss off each other, because that's what they would usually do. But they they wouldn't want it back to begin with. Yeah, no, I totally agree with that. Just the act of downing, just like the first thing they just need to like delete. But um. One thing, yeah. uh, one thing I didn't, I did hypothetically notice on this hypothetical uh, leaked oh, image, of um, is that an active reload does not have the same flashing system on a uh, cached ammo, um, which could possibly mean that the uh, damage bonuses have been removed and just turned into a uh, you know purely reload speed which would be a very good thing for the game. Now, do you think with, like, the better hit detection, because most of the problems with Gears 1 was because of connection issues with hit detection, do you think now that that's going to be fixed with, you know, dedicated servers that they might actually need to change the weapon balance for some of the guns? Yeah, the weapon balance should always be looked at because, you know, even with Gears 1 being the way it was with, with being spotty connections or whether it was on perfect land, the the weapon balances were never really that great. Um, there were, you know, far worse situations in later the in later games like Gears Two T U Six was just abysmal, and the Gears Three, you know, power uh, the regular weapons are just so out of whack. It's it's unbelievable. Um, Gears One did not really have anything to compare to on those. So when you kind of look at it now, you definitely notice that it needs some work. Uh, luckily, those are things that are fairly easily changed and can be adjust- adjusted and tested and uh, get some feedback on. Would you like a beta? Because, honestly, this game is going to be like... It is going to be like make or break for Gears since Judgment. And how the Master Chief Collection went, Do you do you think it's necessary to have a beta? Or do you think that we'll have a smooth launch? You know, to be honest, I'm not sure how uh, betas work on the um, developer side of things. Uh, I've been involved in many gaming betas, um, some closed, some open. But I've never really been behind the scenes on them, so I don't know how much work it actually entails for the developers. Uh, If it's something that they've had planned, I really would be behind it if it's something they're on the fence on i would definitely be behind it if it's something that would really hurt uh development time for both this game and gears 4 i don't know that we really would need it the problem with with the uh, master chief collection is that they you know tried to put in four games all different and tried to play them all at the same time instead of trying to adapt all four into one if this game is just gears one remake or remaster whatever they're doing with it um i think they have a better shot at not needing a beta if it's a pot which the possible rumor 
is that it's including Gears 2 and Gears 3 ports, um, updated ports. That could cause some problems that you saw with the Master Chief Collection because basically it's doing the exact same thing, just replacing um, Halo 2 for Gears 1 and you know porting 3 and 4. So if they try to do something like that without testing it first... When do you think this will launch? Like, because we're getting a lot of you know first party games this this year, and with E three rolling around, we'll probably get more because we're getting an including a new IP. Well, you would think that you know an anniversary game would come on the ten year, but since that's unlikely to wait another whole year, especially after all you know this information leaks right before E three, and showing builds pretty far along the way. I would probably say we'll see it end of third quarter, beginning of fourth quarter this year. Probably late September, early October release. Let's try uh, try to get things started up for Gears 4. Probably see a, if it's included, probably see a beta for Gears 4 in the uh, first quarter or beginning of the second quarter of next year. Oh, seeing how with each game you've had a child, do you think you might... This might be the last Gears game, seeing how you might... This might be your last child. Or do you think you're just going to go like Amish and just keep having children for just the sheer survival of the Gears of War franchise? Well, I will definitely say that this is definitely the last child. Uh, I, <laughs> I'm i going to an appointment in a couple of weeks. Um, so, if... If my uh, procreation was what Gears of War was riding on, I'm sorry to everyone out there, but there's no way in hell <laughs> having another one. Well, there you have it, guys and girls. The Great Tau Devil. Thank you guys for watching or listening at this point. Um, I hope you guys have a great day. Like, subscribe to Gal Portal. And honestly, thank you guys for listening to this and putting up with me and Tao. Um, thank you. And um, any last words, Tao? I've thought of nothing witty. Bye.